Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And I want to do a topic, a very important topic in this video. And I think that all of you, especially who has this, who has this particular phobia, would find this interesting. And this has to do with the fear of clowns. Plain and simple, clown fear. I want to start by explaining this. For some time now, I've known about this. So I've known about this for like maybe, I don't know, like, I forgot how many years, but I did some research and myself, I used to be afraid of clowns when I was a kid. And right now it's not so bad. Unfortunately for others, who knows how many, maybe it numbers in the millions for all I know. But the perfect, but the actual purpose of this video is to show the real truth, which is very fringe. The real reason why people are afraid of clowns to begin with, how it all really started. And I think this is something that all of you should actually know. But of course, it's going to be up to you to accept it. If you want to accept it, you know, great. If you don't, that's fine. But this is what I found out. The real reason why clown phobias exist, especially to a very high level, is because they were victims at one time of alien abduction. They either had a very negative contact with gray aliens and just to let you know I found this out to be very true from my opinion. A lot of their memories are erased from these victims and that's the reason why they, they don't find any connection, any kind of real connection between alien abduction and clown phobias. However, I think you might find this part interesting. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And I was not paralyzed at the time. The being was just standing there. He wasn't doing anything. It had large black eyes. We had a light on our well house out in the back at 1005 South K Street, Midland, Texas. I know exactly where I lived. I knew every rock on that lot. And this being stood there, and at, at that point, uh, I, I was very frightened by looking at him, and he looked, he looked at me with his large, round black eyes, not the almond ones. Yes. And he uh, began, at that point, induced uh, a paralysis. And I became so frightened, I pushed so hard against the wall, I fell, pushed the bed apart from the wall, and fell on the floor. My little rear end was up, and legs were on the bed, and my head and shoulders were on the floor. And he lifted up the covers on the other side of the bed and looked under the bed and looked at me, and those large black eyes programmed an image of a clown. Now you wonder why so many abductees have clown phobias. And I don't know why. Well, again, I say, uh, any being that can do what these beings can do to us mentally, uh, aside from somebody like yourself working for our side, 
What hope do we have? Well, even as a four-year-old, I had an ability I didn't know. And it's called resistance. And what happened is I would not allow him to do that. As he changed his image to me to look like a clown, his image kept changing back to what he really looked like because I wanted to remember him for what he was. So there you have it. That's the real reason why. So to all of you, if you want to drop any comments, any comments whatsoever on what you think on this subject, on this video, please, you know, post any comments. I want to hear what you have to say. And I think this is true. My personal opinion, I think it's true. So to all of you, take care.